For God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Today is Good Friday, the second day of the Paschal Tridum. We celebrate today the epitome of God's love for us, which was in the most perfect way displayed in the cross on the Mount of Calvary. The lengthy Gospel passage for today from the Gospel of John narrates to us in a detailed manner the agony, torture, betrayal, rejection and the cruel death that our Lord endures as he reaches the final moments of his earthly life. Romans chapter 6 23 says that the wages of sin is death. Due to our sinful condition, all of humankind deserved to die. St. Paul says in Romans 3 23 and 24, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Yes, brothers and sisters, it is the sacrifice of Christ that pays the ransom for our redemption. In the Old Testament times, people offered animal sacrifices for their sins. Devo, a biblical scholar says, cost is essential to sacrifice. Man in offering a sacrifice was offering himself. In animal sacrifice, the victim was killed to transfer it to God's world by bringing the blood in contact with the altar and making the flesh to ascend to God in the form of smoke. However, we read in the letter to the Hebrews chapter 10 verses 4 and 5, it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. It is because of this that Christ died for us. The Son of Man offers his blood for the salvation of the entire humankind. But how is it possible for one person to make a complete reparation for sins of the another person? The first reading taken from Isaiah chapter 53 gives the idea of a righteous person taking upon himself the suffering deserved by the sinful humanity. The Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all and he bore the sins of many, Isaiah chapter 53. Scripture points out that the whole of human family is flawed and tainted because of Adam's sins. Jeremiah 17 9 says, the heart of man is desperately corrupt and deceitful above all things. It seems impossible in reality to find any member of human family who is so righteous that his sufferings can have a greater value so that they can benefit the other. The vocation of the, serving, the suffering servant of Isaiah 53 was fulfilled in the person of Jesus. Jesus was both God and man. He bore the extreme physical and spiritual suffering that was a consequence of our sins and he bore that with perfect love for each one of us and for people of all times. St. Paul writing to Corinthians in his second letter chapter 5 21 says, For God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Pope St. John Paul II says, No one, not even the greatest saint, could take on himself the sins of all humankind and offer himself as a sacrifice for all. Only Jesus was capable of this because, though true man, he was also the Son of God. The presence of Christ in the divine person of the Son, who includes in himself all human persons, enables him to represent before the Father all of humankind. Today as we gaze at the crucifix, let us look at it with faith and confidence because all our sufferings, pains and the guilt of our sins have been borne by our most loving Redeemer.